There's one item you'll find in every Italian household. Yes, you're correct in thinking of the bidet, but we're not here to talk about personal hygiene, not yet. We're talking coffee. Literally every single Italian owns at least one of these pots, la mocha. And today I'll show you how to use it to make the best home espresso. I'm Marco and you're watching Inevitably, your fresh take on all things Italian. Make sure you hit subscribe and let's get brewing. Ah, la mocha. Behind this apparently cool metal object hides the beating heart of an entire nation. I don't mean to be too dramatic, but yes, the mocha evokes memories of my first ever coffees with nonna, the early breakfast before catching a school bus throughout high school, long night study sessions in college, and obviously endless chats and gossip with friends and family around the kitchen table. The mocha is to Italians what the teapot is to the Brits, a centerpiece of the home and a symbol of hospitality and conviviality. But before I get too sentimental, let me share some interesting facts about the mocha pot. It is a stovetop coffee maker that's been a staple in Italian households for over 80 years. It is a simple yet highly effective way of brewing a rich and robust espresso that's truly the best. It was invented by Mr. Alfonso Bialetti, and it's no surprise that to this day the uncontested queen of mochas is still the Bialetti brand. But I can see you're getting sleepy, so enough with the talking, it's time for coffee. First, fill the bottom part of the mocha pot with water, making sure to fill it to below the valve. Then, place the filter basket into the bottom part and fill it with ground coffee. Unlike traditional coffee machines, we don't want to press down the coffee, just let it rest naturally. Next, place the mocha pot on your stove and turn on the heat. As the water begins to boil, the pressure will force it up through the coffee and into the top part of the mocha pot. This is when the magic happens. The result will be a delicious and authentic espresso that will definitely give your day a huge boost of energy. Wow! Ah, that gurgling sound. Such an Italian note full of anticipation and satisfaction. Here's a tip from my grandma, Nonna Gina, to make your espresso extra luxurious. She taught me that the first drops of coffee coming up are the most special ones. Get some sugar in a cup, pour the first black gems of coffee in it, and whisk to create a magic crema al caffè, la cremina. And then add this to your coffee instead of sugar. Mmm, it's the bomb. Una bomba, calorica, but delicious. While in Italy, you'll often hear people say metto sulla mocha da tre or metto sulla mocha da sei, meaning I put the three or six cup mocha on. That's because mochas come in different sizes, measured by cups. Hey, Italian size cups, depending on how many people you're entertaining. Which means we usually own multiple mochas for multiple social occasions. You never know who's coming for coffee, better be ready. If you need help with picking the best mochas, Italian ground coffee, accessories and cups, you can find my shopping recommendations in the description below. Ah, and don't forget that mocha maintenance is key to a long life of great espressos. Make sure you rinse and fully dry your mocha before storing it away. Never, I said never use soap. Just water in your finger. Do you see that coffee build up? That's the secret of the best coffee, trust me. So there you have it folks, the secret to making the perfect Italian coffee using a mocha pot. I hope you enjoy trying it at home and don't forget to share your results with us in the comments below. Grazie mille e buon caffè! Ciao!